So talk so, to me about your first kind of, you've had other businesses prior to Smart Bear, but Smart Bear was the one a lot of people know you for first, uh, you know, also the name mm-hmm. of, the, of the, the blog. Um, how did you come to the decision to sell Smart Bear? Because I think you are describing, as I understand it, yourself, uh, you know, multi-million dollar company, software business growing quickly. I, th- I read somewhere doubling year over year. I mean, this is a, this is a juggernaut. A lot of people, and, and mm. obviously a young man at the time, uh, yeah. why sell? What, what was your calculation? Yeah. So I, I told every employee who joined that our goal is to sell someday. So from the beginning, the idea was not that I wanted to run this for the rest of my life, but that I like starting things. I like making things and I want to make some money. I mean, it's just as mercenary as that. Not that I didn't care about customers. I care a lot. So did everyone there. Um, so it's, that's not it. It's not in, at the expense of customers or something like that, but simply being really honest about what I wanted. And I think, you know, it's, it's, uh, again, it's maybe gauche to say that you want to be rich, but you started the company for a reason, and that's probably one of them. It may be the number one reason. If it's not number one, though, because number one might be that you hate having a boss so much that you'd rather make less money on your own, which, again, I feel like probably most of us would say yes to that. Maybe 100% of us say yes to that. Like, I just can't abide the other thing. And so whatever happens next is better than that, right? Um, but surely, surely making money is part of it uh, for most people. Um, but I think some people would argue, I think Jim Collins is is, is famous for, uh, you're talking about a company needs a purpose much larger than money. And no, I don't. think people have read the books Jim <laughs> Collins has uh, written and and kind of drunk the Kool-Aid, right? And and sort of said, oh, we've got to have values and purpose and 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 we're not here to make money, we're here to save the world. And, and, and they almost, it's almost a religiosity. It's, I can't think of a better word for well, it. You're saying, it you're saying a lot of things there. So first of all, like <laughs> clearly companies don't need a purpose because most of them don't have one. Right. Most of them don't have one. I mean, the ones that are successful. So mm-hmm. it's clearly not true that they need one. Is it better if you have one? Yes. Because mm-hmm. it's nice to have a purpose that's, that, that isn't just mercenary. It's nice that people want to be here and are motivated by other reasons. It's nice to do good in the world. It's nice to leave the world in a better place than you found it, et cetera. It is good. <laughs> like, it's good. But the idea that you have to have it is clearly not true. But for um, you, Jason, was it like, was it kind of ticking a box? Like, if the primary motivation is, look, I, like, I'm not ashamed of saying, and I want to make some money. If that was the primary right. motivation, was this just like, oh, yeah, okay, we got to have a purpose because I can't, my, my no, I didn't hourly have worker. <laughs> I didn't have a purpose. I didn't have one. You didn't have one? No. Our purpose was to make really good code review software, which is not a purpose in in that sense that you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so, our, no, our, we wanted to make good software. We cared about our customers. So another thing you said is, uh, oh, we don't, we'll just have these values. I do believe in values and culture. Every company has a culture. The question is, did you design it? Did you decide what it is? Is it getting stronger and more in that direction or not? That is not the same thing as having some higher purpose that's not money. Totally different. Every organization, a sports team, a, a, a church a congregation, you know, a company, every organization does have a culture. There's things that they value more than other things. There's norms that are accepted or rejected. The question is, did you decide what it is so that you're designing your team, your hires, what you, what you reward and what you say isn't acceptable, even in the face of losing money, even in the face of other consequences, like other people having to do work or brand being hurt like these kinds of really t- tough things where you would pick this value over those very clear negative things. That's what your values are. It's very important to do that. Um, but that's different than saying I have a higher purpose. They're, they're, you can have one and not the other easily. And again, many do. So, um, so yeah, you need to, you need to decide what is important, but it doesn't have to be a higher purpose. That doesn't have to be what's important. 